Herobrine, Minecraft's Bigfoot. Herobrine is widely looked at as being a myth, but just like Bigfoot, there are tens of thousands of people that have claimed to have seen him. There are people that go out and try and find him, and there are many people that claim to have been haunted by him, or that have just claimed in general that he's real. So why is that? This video is going to look into the unsolved mystery of Herobrine. Who is he? Does he exist? Where did he come from? And everything else involving Herobrine. Also, only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up liking this video, consider subscribing. It's free and you can always unsubscribe. Herobrine is a rumored hostile creature or player in Minecraft that does a lot of creepy things to your world. Or to you. The backstory to Herobrine has a lot of differing opinions, but it's commonly thought to be Notch, the creator of Minecraft's dead brother, or some sort of ghost. The original reports of Herobrine were players reporting that there were random 2x2 two two tunnels in the world, pyramids in the middle of oceans, and trees with no leaves. And the earliest known mention of Herobrine is a post on August 30th, 2010, almost 10 years ago. It mentioned that Herobrine had appeared in their single player game, littering the map with various pyramids and tunnels and just things that they didn't do. And there was also an image on the post where you could barely see something that looked like a player in the bottom left, but it wasn't a player. It was a single player world and the creature had white, empty eyes. And this post is where the rumor of Herobrine started. The post was meant to be more of a joke, a creepy horror story, it was as simple as that, but many people seemed to have experienced some of the stuff that was mentioned in the post, even though they had never seen Herobrine. This post wasn't that popular and nobody was really talking about it after a short period of time, but then a Minecraft streamer named Copeland brought Herobrine to an entirely new level. During a normal Minecraft livestream, playing in his survival world, randomly, after having been playing the game for a long time, Copeland stumbled into a house where he saw Herobrine standing inside. This was live on stream. This was the first live encounter of Herobrine, and this got a lot of attention. There were hundreds of posts about it on the Minecraft forums, and everyone wanted to know what it was. At the time, no one knew. Now, almost all Minecraft experts who have watched the video agree that the Herobrine that was in the livestream was fake. Most people think that the streamer retextured a painting to look like Herobrine and then faked his reaction of freaking out and yelling when he saw Herobrine. However, the streamer never admitted this. Even years after the event, he still claims that it was real and that he didn't set it up. There was a lot of posts calling Herobrine him and saying that you're not supposed to say his name just like Voldemort or he who should not be named. And there was so many different stories being spread about the origin of Herobrine. With that, there was a lot of fake information being spread as well. And a lot of big YouTubers made clickbait videos claiming that they saw him while showing fake footage using a mod or a texture pack. Other people made up stories about how to summon Herobrine using gold or mossy cobblestone or a mixture. But most of that stuff was just completely made up. But there were certain YouTubers and players that claimed that Herobrine was real and that they had experienced the things that people had said Herobrine does. And there's one thing that seemed consistent throughout everybody's stories. That one thing was that Herobrine made weird things happen to their world, like holes, things missing, weird structures, tunnels, things that just don't happen in a Minecraft world. There were even some confirmed worlds that had huge holes or tunnels that weren't put there by a player. So where did they come from? The players that had stuff like this happen in their world were saying that it was Herobrine. Even if they didn't see Herobrine, they would see the fact that their world had changed and that they didn't do it. A single player world where only they should be able to do things. They would see that there was missing items, missing chunks, new biomes, random structures in wrong places. And sometimes these worlds would even be downloadable and verified as untouched by an actual player. And that is why the story of Herobrine was able to spread so easily. At the time, it was incredibly interesting. How did these things happen? And for a game where mostly kids play, nobody really knew. So I decided to get three Minecraft veterans who have played Minecraft for a very long time and interview them and ask them what they remember about Herobrine just to see what the different answers would be. And here's those interviews. All right, Bad Boy Halo, when did you join Minecraft? Uh, I don't know, 2010, 2011. Do you remember Herobrine? Herobrine, yeah. Like he's he's like this, this ghoul that comes and messes with your builds like 
you'll come and like have stuff taken from your chest or like stuff is missing and it up oh, herobrine to get oh your house moved or like a random cave or something just appears nearby like it's him and like you'll never see him straight on you'll just see him like something in the corner of your eye and you'll turn and you'll be like what and you're like what was that and it's like oh that's herobrine so Her- is herobrine real or fake i know he's not real but he's like he's like a legend he's a minecraft so it's legend. like it's like the loch ness monster or like bigfoot yeah. or whatever but, bigfoot, of, but of minecraft perfect analogy yeah Exactly. Okay, but wh- why do you think so many people actually think that he's real or, or used to think that he's real? I don't know. I think it's, it's one of those things where it's kind of fun, you know? It's like, it's fun because, like, to think that there's some, like, sneaky being, like, interfering with the game, like, it's kind of cool. Well, wh- what about the people who actually will say, like, that 100% Herobrine is real. Like they've they've had they've had they've logged they haven't logged into their world in months. They log in and then their house is moved or or there's a hole and like it's confirmed. Like they they've confirmed that. Oh, they well, believe. No, yeah, I'm sure people have had stuff happen and you know maybe I mean it's a possibility. Nobody's seen you know the Minecraft code, so I guess people might think that oh I come on and something happened and maybe it is some you know thing in the game. It's fun and I think it's you know the unexplainable. There are things that happen yeah. in Minecraft yeah. you can't explain. If you logged in and you just saw this tree like this. Yeah. Uh, this would be honestly so bizarre. I would like this. Imagine would totally a whole forest. Out. You just have a whole forest. Whole forest like, like, like that? that? That's definitely Herobrine. Uh, <laughs> that's definitely. That's so that's the change, exact it unexplained you to a phenomenon. Believer. It changed that, you to a believer. I, if I saw that, I'd be a believer. I'd be like, all right, something's <laughs> going on. You know what? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. The one thing that like happened to me that really freaked me out was so like i didn't play a lot of survival right but i remember start a survival world built like a little house in the middle of a forest nothing was there i stopped playing for like a year came back after like a fresh update wanted to see i'm like oh i'll open up my old survival world and there was a village just around it that I don't remember being there. Like my house was nestled in the middle of it. I'm like, wait a minute. It was so weird. Bizarre. It was yeah. very weird. Do you remember yeah. anything about Herobrine? What do you know about Herobrine? Uh, Herobrine's like a mythical Minecraft ghost thing person that goes around like haunting, you know, people's worlds and stuff. He's most known for like being like scary and like messing with people's worlds, like leaving things, taking stuff that shouldn't be there, like leaving like little hints and stuff. and just being like spooky and stuff like what do you, that. What do you mean by like hints? He'll like take something or, you know, he'll leave like a door that like a player knows was closed and there's like no way that any mob could have opened it and like they'd be open or he might like take something from a chest and stuff like that. Why do you think Herobrine became such a big thing? Because like, I think it was like a combination of like, you know, Minecraft's not like a scary game and then like it's like this spooky thing is in there and constantly in like the patch updates you'd always see Herobrine removed Herobrine removed Herobrine removed so i guess like to a lot of kids that was something that like like really fascinated them it was really like kind of spooky i thought i thought Herobrine is real <laughs> because of my friends <laughs> my friends were like dude he's for real he's real and i'd be like i don't know it's like my friends tell me he's real he was real i remember i would set up like Herobrine shrines in my world like i wanted i wanted to see i went Herobrine hunting <laughs> And I think there's a lot of, like, YouTube videos that really You would compare me. it to, like, Bigfoot? Like, Bigfoot? Yeah, Bigfoot. like, literally just, like, Bigfoot. And, you know, you would see, like, YouTube videos, like, Carol Bryan sightings and all that stuff. And it really, like, it was, like, a really big thing in the Minecraft community. Well, what did, what did they tell like, you? Like, what proof did yeah. they give you? My friends would tell me, like, these crazy stories. Like, how, like, they'd be in their house and all of a sudden they'd be, like, in a different biome. Or chunks around their house would be missing. Like, tons of, like, crazy stuff that couldn't be explained, I guess that like led them to believe it and then i guess made me believe it as well i want to ask you about herobrine what do you what do you know about herobrine what do you think about herobrine i guess when you think of herobrine what do you think of um herobrine is that (laughs) mob that was always removed every update that's what i remember and what do you you remember every every update notes was like removed herobrine he's just like like okay i don't know i always thought he was like a like a ghost type character thing you know he's like around the world and he's like doing weird stuff to the place and causing shenanigans <laughs> causing shenanigans what, what yeah, type man. of shenanigans i don't know like he would steal stuff you know stuff would be missing it you'd look around and then oh herobrine has yoinked your stuff <laughs> and do you do you remember ever thinking herobrine was real or no i i don't think i ever thought herobrine was real to be honest I, I think maybe he was really known 
because I mean it was in the, every update notes had removed Herobrine so everyone that read the update notes was saw that and then stuff online everyone would be talking about him stuff about Herobrine that would just keep pushing Herobrine 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 even though maybe Herobrine never even existed so you, but, you, but you would say Herobrine doesn't exist right or, or never has or anything like that I mean I, he, he could have existed at one point I don't I don't know you think maybe Mojang pulled a prank or something or would have like you know they've done like the April Fool's updates and stuff I think maybe they would have done something like that with Herobrine at some point I mean they could have done I don't I don't remember I don't remember if that actually happened but they, they totally could have done didn't they do something yeah like they did like an April Fool's thing where there was like a, a chest or something they did this thing it was like a a chest that randomly spawned in the world that you could buy stuff from it was like microtransactions or oh, something oh yeah do you remember that thing yeah i remember vaguely yeah so maybe you think maybe they they could have done something like that with hair brand i guess i guess they could possibly i don't know so i guess did they <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't know that's that's kind of the question now notch the creator of minecraft has come out multiple times and said that hair wasn't a thing but there's one thing that he also said that is pretty interesting. In one tweet, he said that Herobrine might be a thing in the future. It was a long time ago and now he doesn't work on Minecraft anymore, but he did say it. So how was Herobrine able to fool so many people if Herobrine wasn't ever a thing? As you heard, even Sapnap, a long time player, and he's not an idiot, thought that Herobrine existed at one point when he was a kid. And it wasn't just because of clickbait YouTube videos. It was because of friends that had personal experience. If Herobrine actually never existed, why did so many people think that he did? And that is where my theory comes in. My theory is that Herobrine is just Minecraft glitches. Because glitches in worlds do happen, especially after updates. And back in 2013, when Minecraft was first becoming popular, most people didn't have much knowledge on Minecraft glitches and bugs. Herobrine took off in popularity in 2013, reaching his peak in Google searches. And that was right around when Minecraft started pushing updates that had major changes to world generation. Updates can have different ways to generate worlds, and if you try and play an old world on a new update, you might see some really weird things. Even if you have not touched your world in a very long time, you might see chunks missing. You might even see broken or misplaced structures. You might see biomes mixing together. You might even see tunnels or random holes or other things that can be attributed to world corruption, like maybe missing items. Sounds familiar, right? That sounds like exactly what people described as Herobrine doing. And that would explain why some of these stories are completely true, even though Herobrine didn't exist. But does Herobrine exist now? And that is where it gets really, really interesting. But I'll get back to that in a minute. There are so many videos nowadays on crazy Minecraft glitches. And back in the day, players might have called these Herobrine. There are videos and pictures now about glitches from older versions of Minecraft from around the same time Herobrine was popular, and a lot of them match the stories that Herobrine comes with. Tunnels randomly, pyramids in the middle of the ocean, missing chunks, weird fog, loading issues, and, and just much more. But Mojang did go along with it. They created pictures with Herobrine in it, they removed Herobrine from the updates, they tweeted jokes about Herobrine, and much more. And obviously it's a fun thing to talk about. Like, like I said, it's, it's like Bigfoot. But that gets us to the interesting part of the video. Whenever Minecraft is updated, there is something called the change log, where you can see a list of all the changes that were made in the Minecraft update. And every single update since 2012, which is eight years ago, has included a small line of text at the bottom that says, removed Herobrine. Except the last Minecraft update, Minecraft 1.16, the nether update. The first update since Minecraft 1.3 to not say that they removed Herobrine. A month from now will be Herobrine's 10 year anniversary. Minecraft broke a huge streak, a huge streak, by not including removed Herobrine in the changelog. Why did they do that? Why did they break this huge streak on the 10 year anniversary of Herobrine? Every single update since 2012, 2012, Minecraft 1.3, and they didn't include removed Herobrine this update. Every update, you know how they've added the little removed Herobrine thing? Well, they didn't do that for the most recent update. And that's the only one they haven't done it for in the last Wait, eight years. Which update? 1.16. Seriously? Yeah, they didn't They didn't add that, but they've done it every update since 2012. What? Yeah, it's, it's, that, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? And, and the, the kind of cooler thing is that Herobrine's 10 year anniversary is in a month. Okay, wait a minute, hold on. That, oh my gosh, that makes me think that like they purposely <laughs> added him. And so they couldn't say removed him. That is so weird. That? Why would they do that? Yeah. 
they have to have a reason for it. Like, that's got me thinking now. It makes me wonder if they actually added, like, Herobrine to the game. You mentioned how they add removed Herobrine to every changelog, right? Yeah. They've been doing that since 2012, so that's eight years. What if I told you that for the first time in eight years, they didn't put removed Herobrine on the 1.16 changelog on that update? Why? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I don't know why. No, nobody. They didn't say anything about it. They didn't say why. That's really interesting. So, <laughs> what do you oh, think about that? What are, what are your? Do you have any theories? Do you have any thoughts? <laughs> it makes you think. Like, what if they like actually like they add Harrowbrine <laughs> right right on his ten year anniversary? Huh? It's interesting, isn't it? I would love. I would love they add Harrowbrine. Like, I don't know. That'd be really cool. Every single update since 2012, since 1.3, <laughs> they have added in the changelog removed Harrowbrine. Except, except. 1.16. 1.16 is the first update since 2012 really? to not have removed Herobrine <laughs> in the change. Wait a second. Log. Where is he? <laughs> Where is he? He's got to be running somewhere. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. He could be. He could be right around the corner somewhere. He could. Wait. Why is there so much sand over there, Jeremy? <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we placed those, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what if they? What if Herobrine got too powerful and they couldn't remove him? And he's just lost in the nether somewhere. <laughs> he's in the and we nether. We have to go find him. Exactly. He's in the nether for people to find. Yeah, could it, be. It's just interesting, I guess. He could be wandering the the wastelands of the nether, waiting for someone to find him. So that is the real question. Why did Minecraft decide not to say that they removed Herobrine? On Herobrine's 10 year anniversary, why wasn't he removed? Was Herobrine added to Minecraft now? And that is the unsolved mystery of Herobrine.